Oh, wow. Stay dangerous. I know they watch. CD, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Thank you for making the time. I bet you're tired, huh? Oh, yes. I just I actually just woke up from a nap. Just now. <laughs> like, okay, but, maybe 20 minutes ago. But when I tell you, what's the record for the people in the back? Oh, we two and one right now. Ah! <laughs> well, oh, cool. And you oh, had dope. the play of the game. Take me into that one-handed catch, which I think deserves extra points because it was left-handed. Right, yeah, offhand um, was definitely could could get extra couple kudos points, but uh, no, um, it was a crazy moment for me. Obviously, a defining moment. Understanding the situation that happened in the first half uh, with a drop pass, um, wasn't used to that. That was not how stuff was supposed to go. But you know, um, everything kind of happens for a reason. I'm a firm believer in that, and uh, yeah, I got the, the second opportunity in the fourth quarter to win the game. So. So, CD, I wasn't even going to bring up the drop because it doesn't matter because you right. had the catch, you got the touchdown. This, you know, the fourth quarter was yours, and it was such a bounce back. So, is it safe to assume? Because I really wasn't going to bring it up. Does that haunt you, and will that haunt you anyway? Yes, it does. I hate, like, honestly, dropping passes has never been a thing for me. But until you know, I got here in the league, so obviously it's something I need to work on. But. Uh, just, just being more consistent, you know, for the team. Uh, obviously, those guys had a lot of, you know, trust and faith in me uh, throughout the game and kept building me up um, throughout halftime and everything. No one is like a bigger critic on myself than me. So I was very hard on myself throughout the, uh, the halftime situation or whatever, but just getting back into the game, I'm um, getting back in my element and Kale helped me find my groove again. I was talking to Darius Butler about this today. How do you do that? Like what goes through your head at halftime that you can turn it around? What's your process? Honestly, it's just kind of getting back to square one, understanding who you are as a person and what kind of got me here. And I uh, just, you know, not trying to make, you know, chasing big plays, if you will, uh, just kind of letting them come towards me and uh, just doing everything that I have to do, leading up to the big play, if you will. And uh, just making a routine play, doing what we got to do to move the chains and uh, everything I take care of myself. Yeah, here's what you're supposed to say. You're supposed to say, I went in the, I went in the locker room, I grabbed a body on the <laughs> I shook it up, I drank it, I chugged five, I went back. I did, I got my superpowers. <laughs> oh, definitely. Tell me why, you know, you're a, you're a Dallas Cowboy. You were wearing that number, you are you are a star in the National Football League. You showed it last night in the bright lights. Why does a star like you want to partner with Body Armor? Uh, hydration uh, is the biggest part of, you know, my recovery, my recovery process. And just honestly, just throughout, just being in the league, understand how, how important hydration is between water and you know, body armor, the juice that I've been drinking, uh, strawberry and banana, that is. Uh, that's okay. Everyone. Uh, it's definitely been helping me, like, uh, you know, loosening my muscles, throwing massages, kind of helping my body just, you know, speed up the recovery. So body armor does a great job of just helping me make that an easier, you know, process and uh, being able to go out there and make one-hand catches. <laughs> and you did it. And you did it left-handed and you got the win there. Uh, was, it, was it a better, let's see, what was a better catch? You're not going to like this question. What was a better catch? Monday Night Football against the Giants or you catching your girl with that phone? Oh! oh Monday Night, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I don't know, because that catch on draft night, that was smooth. That was anticipation. You had right. poise. You were calm. I don't know. I feel like the stage was a little bigger, you know. <laughs> no, <laughs> it wasn't. No, <laughs> no stage was bigger than the draft stage, but I appreciate mm -hmm. you even answering the question, and that's why you are a real one. Uh, you must hear from Michael Irvin a lot, huh? Yeah, I do. That's <laughs> boy. Is it texting? What is it? Hey, call, however we do it, link up, it doesn't matter. That's, yeah, and uh, anytime I have a question or, you know, anything, of, you know, football related or not football related, Mike has been there for me, you know, ever since I got dropped, so. He says, he says, uh, CD, that you guys are stealing wins without Dak. Do you agree? I do. Um, it's just like, I feel like a lot of people are counting us out because we got Cooper Rush. And then, um, you know, we're missing our star left tackle, but we obviously have a young star in Tyler Smith. Um, just understanding that we play together as a unit. Um, we can form this bond throughout whoever, you know, we're, we're still missing pieces. If you, yeah. I feel like a lot of people have been counting us out just because we're missing important pieces. Yes, we are, but like as a unit, we, we learn to grow together, play together. And then, you know, that, you know, our play style just take over the game. And then as we do that, we're continuing to win, so. Yeah. Is it, do you feel the pressure? I know that Cooper seems like he's that guy and he's poised and it's awesome. 
do you feel you're the youngest wide receiver in that room, aren't you? Most definitely. Is that, and, now, and now Amari's gone, and it's it's you. It's Is me. That, how do you feel about that? Uh, it's a very surreal moment, most definitely. But I mean, I take it on as any challenge, just, you know, as I do any other day. Uh, wake up, attack, and then prove to myself and prove to the ones that's around me why I'm in the situation that I'm in at such a young age. Yeah, uh, one thing that is very unique about your team is that you have Jerry Jones, this larger than life figure uh, who everyone just listens to every word he says. <laughs> what type of personal relationship do you have with him? Uh, it's actually growing, you know, throughout throughout the whole, like since I got drafted and then like 2020, I wasn't able to really see him much. But like 2021 as of last year and then kind of this year has grown into this position that I, in this role that I, he's put me in, I mean, the relationship can only grow in a situation like this. And uh, most definitely a cherishable moment last night. And then talking to him again last last week against the Bengals, uh, you know, a uh, very proud moment for me, you know, having a one-on-one -on -one with Jerry Jones. It was, it was What happens in those one-on-ones? Does he find yeah. you? Not really, it's not really anything, you know, big. It's just, just having the opportunity to chop it up with, you know, he's a GOAT in all reality, however we want to put it. Everyone's going to remember Jerry Jones. So any opportunity I get, you know, to chop it up with him. Well, what do you say after that one-handed grab? Oh, uh, good catch. <laughs> it wasn't nothing really, you know, it wasn't. It wasn't I think it's he has bigger expectations for you down the line. And you guys are looking really good. You have the commanders this week. Uh, I know you're too good of a player to overlook anyone. So what are you, what are you looking for in this matchup? Uh, Taking it one week at a time, you know, we gotta let up once again, let our play start do the talking. And um, at this at this point, I feel like we're kind of we're kind of starting to get an edge, or you know, finding our finding ourselves, if you will, or like how we're gonna be, like how we're gonna attack uh, other opponents, if you will. But uh, just going out throughout this process, I mean, it's it's phenomenal because you're kind of finding out who you are as a team, and then like, what do you, you know, we all know what the end goal is, but like the type of trials and tribulations that it's going to take to get there. We're kind of going through them now, so. It's a good answer. Or you could just say, I saw Javante Smith light them up last week. Ah, so, he did. So I I, know. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, he did, facts. <laughs> he did. I'm trying to get you in trouble here, CD. Yeah, I am. You are. <laughs> it's it's true. Uh -huh. uh, okay, again, tell me the flavor for body armor before I let you go. Strawberry Stra banana. Strawberry banana. What are you gonna do for Halloween? You're already decorating for Halloween in your house? Oh yeah, nah, we got the whole decoration going on. If I could show you the whole crib, you would love it. Who, who's decorating? I got my brother, my brother did, and I had some help. <laughs> it's September 20 something, are you oh, nah, it's, nah, it's, don't worry, we, 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 we're very festive. We like to get the most out of our holidays. <laughs> what will you be for Halloween? I don't know yet, I haven't decided. I got, I got a month. What were you last week, last year? Uh, nothing. <laughs> nothing? Oh, you just like to see, like, game. Stuff. a game. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, well, I, I want you to nap, and then I want you to rehydrate with body armor, and I appreciate your time. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Bye, CD. Congratulations.